Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, PC Building Simulator received an update. We are now in version 1.13. But with that update came a bunch of new parts, as well as the IT expansion, which I think a lot of us have been waiting for. I know I have. Ever since I played the beta, I found it to be a lot of fun, and I'm glad they finally released it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that the IT expansion is free. Now, I think it's currently only available on PC. So all you need to do is make sure that your game is updated, and then you should have a new selection for the IT expansion. In fact, let me pull it up real quick here. Let's go back here to the main menu. And it shows up right here under the, e if you have the eSports, it's gonna show up right under the eSports DLC. Now we're gonna talk more about that in a little bit. Let me go back into free build because we did get a bunch of new parts as well. And I'd like to highlight a few of those parts I did make a community post on Thursday about all the new parts, so if you want to go check out all those new parts, go look at the community post. I've got the full parts list on there. So let me hop into this inventory here. Let me go to motherboards. We got some new Z490 motherboards. Just two. We got the Gigabyte Z490 Aorus Extreme and the Aorus Extreme Water Force. So this one's got a custom water cooling piece right here that covers over the VRMs as well as the CPU. Then we got some new Z590 stuff. It's all almost all Gigabyte as well. We got the Gigabyte Z590 iVision D, the Z590 Vision G, as well as the Z590 Aorus Extreme Water Force. So another custom water-cooled motherboard. And then we got the NZXT N7 Z590 motherboards in black and white, which I'm very excited about. We've been needing some white motherboards in this game for newer parts. All the NZXT motherboards we had that were white, I believe the last one we got was a Z390. So it's been a little bit since we've had one. We also got some new cases, and if I back out of here, this is one of them right here. Let me get that to go away. This is one of them right here. This is the Cooler Master Master Frame, and this is in the showcase mode. They also have it in the bench mode. Pretty cool case. So let me back out here. Let me go into the inventory here where we can actually look at cases. So there's the master frame in showcase and there's the master frame in bench mode. We also got a couple of other cooler master cases. You can go check those out if you want. We got the Silencio S400 and S600, as well as the Inwin 925, which I don't know if I know what that one looks like. There it is right there. So we got some new cases. We did get some case fans. I'm not gonna look at those. They're just case fans. You can go check those out. We got a new water-cooled GPU, which is the Zotac. The 3090 right here. So we got a new water-cooled 3090 from Zotac. And then we got a bunch of GPUs. We got ASRock, uh, Radeon RX 6900 XT, 6800 and 6800 XTs, as well as a 6700 XT. We also got a colorful iGame RTX 3070, an MSI RTX 2080 Super Aero, and then we got some Zotac graphics cards, which again, I'm pretty excited about because, let me get down here to them, because they're white. They also come to black version, but we got the white RTX 3070 and the white RTX 3080. So it's about time we got some more white parts. I'm really excited about that. I wish they would add in some more white power supplies because we've only got one and it's only 520 watts. So we need some new white power supplies. We also got some new RAM, which is from Colorful. So here's all the new Colorful RAM. I think it looks really good. Here's some white stuff I'll definitely be using Probably all of this and some builds eventually. Probably not the 2666, but the 3200, the 3600, and the 4266. I'm sure I can use all of that. We also got some monitors. We got the three Acer Predator monitors, which you're more than welcome to go check those out. But again, I think that the biggest, most exciting thing that came out with this update is the IT expansion. So let me hop over there. We also, oh, we also got the ability to have multiple game saves in free build, just so you know. So if you need to have multiple game saves in free build, we now have that option. So let me go back to the main menu. I'm going to hop into the IT expansion 
and we're going to take a look at it. All right, here we are in the first IT expansion workshop. If you played the beta again, this will look very familiar to you. This is the workshop we all started off in. It also has three workshops with it. So let me go here and I can go to change workshop, which I have not unlocked yet, but we've got the expanded workshop. And then we've got the one that I was just in, which is the executive one that has a slide and you can go down the slide just so you know, all three of these workshops are available in free build mode. They're all unlocked. So go play in them, build stuff. They're all three very cool. So let's do some jobs. Let's check this out. If you didn't check out the, the IT expansion beta, I did do three episodes on that, but it's not even worth checking out unless you want to compare it to the full release here. Let's hop into the email. We've got a bunch of emails. I doubt I'm going to read them all because some of them are quite long. And honestly, they're exactly the same emails <laughs> that were in the beta. So let's get rid of this one. This one wants to know if we're the new IT person. That's great. Thank you, Natalia. Let's get rid of that. Uncle Tim's wishing us good luck. And then we've got our first PC to work on. They need us to reinstall Typo, sell out, and document, and also uninstall cookbooks and data mine. Don't need either of them. And also, apparently, clean out the dust. I guess it's quite a dusty beast. So I'm going to grab this. Oh, yeah, it's dusty. It's dusty. So let me get this side panel off of here. I'm going to grab some compressed air. See if I can't clean this beast out. Why do they have their RAM inserted like that? When you insert RAM side by side like that, it's only running in single channel mode. Not, don't, I don't know if it matters in the game, to be quite honest. I've never really tested it out. But I have to fix it because it's going to drive me nuts. If you've got two sticks of RAM, you should install it like that so that you get dual channel mode. All right. Let me grab a USB drive and get that installed in here. I'm going to power this thing up. And they want both of these uninstalled. And they want a typo. Sell out. And document, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So, let me restart. And I think we are going to be good to go. Let me get the side panel put back on here. I'm going to go put this over here in the delivery area and hopefully, hopefully when we turn this in, maybe we'll get access to our tablet. You're a star. Everything's back and it's clean. So which app did you use to remove the dust in the end? <laughs> All right. So we've got nothing left over there. Let's end the day. Go to work. There we go. There's our tablet. Finally, this was one of the best parts about the IT expansion. I wish career mode had this tablet. It's so great. It has everything on it. It's got the email. It's got the shop, the custom water cooling shop. They have added the calendar to it, which is awesome. They've added cloud notes. And then we have this ticket thing, which is basically email, but it, it kind of tells you what you have going on. So let's minimize that. I want to show you guys something else that this also has. We go, if we push escape, we can go to gameplay settings and we have all these settings. So you can get free postage. If you don't want to have to worry about money, you can get a one-time cash boost. 
You can get a reward boost where you earn more from jobs. You can show hidden objectives, which that's great. So if you're like me and you don't pay attention as well as you should to the email, you can turn this on and it will actually show you all the extra stuff that they kind of hide in the email wording that you should get done. And then if you've never played PC Building Simulator before, you can turn on this tutor and it will help you go through everything. But hopefully if you're watching this video, you've at least played or at least watched me play some PC Building Simulator, so hopefully you don't need the tutor. So let's resume this. We've got a couple of PCs here. This one, Ira is our boss. This one's from the boss, so let's put it there. His tiny little PC. And I don't know who Matt is. We'll figure it out in a minute. <laughs> Let me pull up the tablet. We'll look at the email. Here's Matt. So this is just the ticket system. It explains how it works for the most part. And obviously, if you're playing this, you can read through this email. So Matt is the person that's supposed to be onboarding us into this job. So if you can see down here, the little ones in orange, these are the ones that are hidden in the email. So if you don't want to read through the whole email and you just want to know what needs to be done, you turn on that show hidden objectives and now you can just come down here and go, okay, we need to run clean it pro. We need to fix the printer and we need to remove viruses. That's pretty simple and you don't have to read the whole thing. So here we are again with the upgrade to 16 gigs of Ram. That's a little hidden objective in here in the email. So again, I'm not going to read through this whole email. We need to replace the PSU and we need to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. So let's take a look at these PC stats. They've got a Cooler Master Master Watt Bronze 550, and then we're gonna add another stick of this Patriot Viper Steel Series 8 gig, 3000 megahertz. So let me hop over here to the shop. I'm gonna get these put in the cart and I'll be right back. All right, so here's the parts for that repair. Let's go check out this other repair. Let's use the ticket system this time for Matt. So we need to put Clean It Pro or Run Clean It Pro on there. We need to fix the printer and remove viruses for him. So we don't have anything that actually needs to be replaced. It's just all software stuff. So on these, we can actually set priority as well. There's a not set, there's low, medium, and high. So if we back out of this and we go to IRAs where it says this should be your top priority, we can set this priority as high priority. We can also give it to the night shift if you don't want to do it. If you get something in that you don't care anything about getting done, you can pawn that off on the night shift and you don't have to do it yourself. So as far as all of the parts that we need to order, it doesn't need to be done until the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and order these parts for next day delivery. And then this PC, because we don't need parts, we can just power this thing on. I can pop in a USB drive. Let's get a Clean It Pro installed on here. As well as the virus scanner. We need to make sure we put the virus scanner on here as well. And then we need to go fix the printer. Ooh, he must have a hard drive in here because this is slow. A virus scanner. Come on. There we go. Let this restart. It's going to take its sweet time. All right, let's run Clean It Pro. Welcome to Clean It Pro. When was the last time you felt clean? <laughs> Click start to search for and remove unnecessary files. So that's done, then let's run the virus scanner. 300 infected files. There we go. Now, before I go place that in the delivery area, I wanna come over here and see what's wrong <laughs> with the printer. The printer is shared between everyone at Iratech, and it's your job to keep it running. If it stops working, try turning it off and on again. No luck? Click the area above the printer. Try percussive maintenance. <laughs> As in bashing it. So we can turn it off on. That seemed to fix it. We can also open and close all the paper trays. 
And then, of course, you've got the bash. <laughs> that seemed to fix it, though. So we should be able to grab this PC. We can go put this thing in the delivery area. And then for this little guy, we need to replace the PSU, so we might as well go ahead and take it out before we end the day. So let me get everything disconnected here. I think that's all of it. All right, so that's out. And then when we get our RAM in, we will put in the extra stick of RAM and the new PSU. So let me go in the day. We should get the parts in. We can get that thing put back together and get it to the boss. All right, here's our parts. First, let's grab our RAM. We've got the Patriot Viper Steel Series, the same thing that's already in here. Did I open up the wrong RAM clips? I think I did. <laughs> let's close those back up. Why didn't you guys say something? All right, then we need a power supply. This one's obviously broken. Let's grab the new one. We get that installed. It'll automatically plug everything in. Let's make sure it boots. While it's doing that, I'm going to put the side panel back on. And it's good to go. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is a cell all broken. So we can get rid of all the broken parts all at once. That's something very nice that's been added. So this all worked. This is ready to go out into the delivery area. And we should be able to collect both of these. Let's use our tablet. So let's collect that one. Now that's the kind of efficiency and dedication I like to see. Keep it up and you'll do well here. All right. And then let's collect this one from Matt. Thank you. Give me time to get these forms straightened out, and then I'll book you in for your first onboarding session. Exciting. Very. Very, very. Okay, so that's just a little snippet of the IT expansion. If you guys want to see me do a full playthrough of this like I've done for the career mode, let me know down in the comments. I might turn this into a series as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to all the new subs that decided to hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you should do so. And then ring the bell that's right next to it so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, if you want to help support me, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description. There is also a join button right next to the subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you guys in the next episode.